third option we have here is select and place tag. This is the most commonly used option for doing piece numbering automatics. What it does is it gets rid of the parameters for create and place tag because we're no longer going to create a tag on the fly. Select and place tag means let's use a custom tag that we've built that happens to be reporting the property piece number. So you can see here, Practicad's opened up a drop down list and inside the custom type tags, underneath our default Practicad tags, if we open that list, we can go and choose whatever tag we'd like. Now the tag you use might be different than the one in this tutorial, but as a default, Practicad will come with the piece number circle tag. And it also has another piece number tag here, which is for a square border. And there's tutorials on changing these tags. Here what we're going to do is say we want to run the automatic using our custom piece number circle tag. We're going to press OK. Practicad is going to ask us to select a fitting because the criteria is duck line forward. We're going to pick the first piece of duct on the line. And Practicad is now going to place down our custom default Practicad tag. And you'll know that if you double click on the tag, you can see here under identification the name of the tag is piece number circle. So instead of creating a tag for us, it's utilizing our custom tag. Those are all the options currently for the tag tab.